Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you've been following us then you know that we are heavily invested in one small Chinese brand and it's called Falcom. We use the F22, F38 system and now the brand new F50 system as well. So we use the Falcom F22 system for most of our accessories like handles, top handles or even the screen holder, everything literally. And we use the F38 system for most of our cameras like the F38 cage here or the F38 plate on this Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II recording me now. So as you can see, we love this system. We use this system on a daily basis and honestly, I couldn't be happier with them. Now they came out with a, another system. It's more designed towards uh, videographers with heavy duty gears like big cameras, big lenses and follow so focus system like this and it's called the F50. So what you have to know about this system that basically just like the F22 and F38 it consists of one quick release base clamp and one base plate. The base plate as I said is fully compatible with the Manfrotto 501 system and what you have to know about the base mount that it has a 50 newton meter torsional strength whatever that means. So what it means in practical terms that if you if you use the base plate like vertically then you it can hold about 50 kg or 110 pounds without sliding and it's really really strong so easy to use you just put the base clamp in and puff it just gets in you can also pull a little bit more if you want to add a bit more strength but this little spring system just really holds it in and, and I can tell that it's really strong it's not going anywhere so basically this is uh, designed for follow focus systems like this or big cameras and this one is uh, consists of uh, the Falcom uh, carbon fiber rod and this Falcom rod holder which I really love because it's really lightweight it's real small profile so it's really easy to carry around and basically again I just pop it in there and it's uh, not going anywhere so I can just drop on my uh, a 7 4 which the new cage is compatible with the F50 system you just have to find the right way first time and I'm using the VF system from Samyang uh, this one is set up uh, to use with the manual focus adapter so it's not installed now but technically anytime I just pop it in it's easy to use and if I need to change lenses then I just Take it out, change the lens, put the manual focus adapter back on, put it back and uh, I'm ready to shoot. So as you can see it's mainly aimed towards videographers that uh, in a fast paced environment a quick clamp like this can be a lifesaver that you don't miss a shot or you don't have to make your crew wait for you along. So I really recommend this uh, to look into this F50 system. So why I'm excited about this system is uh, not because I have big heavy duty camera gears. I am using the a 7 4 with the Samyang VF system which I'm really happy is it's, it's such a brilliant and underrated system if you haven't yet watched our video on it and you will see why I love this system so I, I could just get away with the F38 system but when Falcom sent over the first samples of the F50 system I knew that I can use it for something else and before I show you that, I have a confession to make. I am a tripod file. So I just love tripods, honestly. Uh, I have loads of them, just ask my wife, especially now that, as you've seen, we reviewed two Yulanzi travel tripods and she was like, oh, not another tripod. I was like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I have this heavy duty inner rail here. This is the R90C. It can take up to 60 kg and it's just massive i should do a review on this but i also have for example when we go to the city i just want something lighter smaller so i have this uh, leo photo one uh, this is the ranger series it still takes a, quite lots of weight uh, so but it's very lightweight it's very small when it's folded so uh, it has no center column so it can just go very compact and to be honest this was our, our travel tripod to go before we had uh, Ulanzi Coleman, which is, I think, our main travel tripod now. But I also have this one here, Leo Photo Ranger series. So you can see I'm surrounded by uh, tripods now. 
and with many tripods I have many heads because for example I'm not just using uh, these basic ball heads that most of you probably using I love this gear head from Benro absolute goodness <laughs> I would say this one I use for astrophotography when you need to do polar alignment I put it on this tripod and I also have one heavy-duty ball head as well the, you can see that this has a massive sized ball so it can take a lot but yeah there was the problem that I was constantly trying to switch which goes on which because uh, sometimes I'm using the bender on this one sometimes on this one sometimes I, I want the big heavy-duty ball head on this one but sometimes I just want the smaller one or I even have a third smaller one so before I based my tripod and head setups on Arca Swiss so for example like this one I had this Arca Swiss base plate base mount on the tripod and I had one Arca Swiss on all my tripods but this is just a little finicky I would say because uh, you have to screw it you have to make sure that it's it's, it's properly screwed I don't know if it can do 50 Newton meter torsional strength so as you can see that it's a, a bit limiting that system and I had once or twice when I just didn't tighten it enough and it was moving a bit so as you can see if I have this uh, big uh, bow head I want to use it on my Ranger series I just click it in Give a little pull if I have to, and then so there you go. It just, it just stays in, not going anywhere. Really quick to use, but I want to quickly swap to my uh, gear head. Just take it off, drop the gear head in, and here we go. That's how quick it is to swap between them. So if if you have just one tripod and just one head it still can be a use and uh, to be honest this system is really lightweight so it doesn't really as much weight to the tripod uh, and, and there is one reason why I would recommend even if you have one tripod and one head that you use all the time because portability now uh, the best to show I'm going to demonstrate it with the center column for this one so when you have a tripod with a bow head installed and you put it on the backpack you strap it on your backpack and then this the head just sticks out that's one problem that for example I'm sure you had that before just like me that when you were going in a forest and you're trying to go under some branches and the tripod head just gets stuck and then you're there trying to fight the branch and you look ridiculous all your mates are laughing at you you don't want that do you so that's one thing the other thing is the balance you can see you know what I'm talking about when you have the tripod attached to your backpack and then you can feel that it's just going like this and I'll show you why because bow heads I a little bit heavy let's be honest the, the head is usually almost as heavy as like let's say this lightweight tripod so that means that the balance the weight balance is very top heavy so that's why it's like fiddling around you can see that I, I can't really balance this on this head I'm afraid to drop it on the a7 IV now if I can just take this one off there you go I can hold it you see and it the same applies to your backpack that it will not fiddle around it will not stick out so much easier to carry you just drop this one in your bag drop it anywhere you want uh, it's about the size of a lens so you can just put it in that container so the weight distribution on your backpack is much better not to mention that you can have one gear head and one bow head with you so that's why I recommend this uh, F50 system to anyone who, who has a tripod and a head because it's it's so versatile it just helps you to carry around your stuff so much better for example now I can put my tripod on the bottom of my backpack because I don't worry about the bow head sticking out hitting everything I just have the bow head on the bottom of my backpack so again the weight distribution on my backpack is more lower based which is what you should have so it's your back not your shoulders that keeps the weight 
it just really helps a lot so the trade-off is a really small amount of plus weight uh, because of the plate and the uh, clamp I think this is a very very good trade-off it's uh, I highly recommend it to anyone so it's not just for videography gear uh, as you can see that with the tripod and the head especially if you have different heads for example you have a bow head a gear head a video head and just one tripod you can switch around in in seconds you don't have to worry about the threads uh, are going after a while and there's one more thing about the, the clamp that I like that it has these two holes where you can just put two screws in which is provided by Falcom it will stop the basement from turning it's usually on the on the base of the tripod as well but uh, many times it's just on one side it's only one screw on one side so it's not balanced uh, the, again the stock distribution or I don't know how to call it but you know what I mean so it's it just pushing from one side and it's it's like ripping this way while here you have two so it's like very nice balanced it just pulls it against the thread so it makes it more secure that's a really good addition and just again shows you how far come cares about your gear safety because it just helps you to keep everything safe and secure okay so i promised you that i'm going to tell you more about the follow focus system and how i'm using it now as you can see that here on the base uh, as i said i have the joint rebuild s plate and the reason why because this is both compatible with the uh, Falcom F50 or the Manfrotto 508 or the Alka Swiss system. So for example, if I have my bow head in like this, you see how it is to put it on. Uh, and now I have an Alka Swiss up here. So what I want to do is, is put the um, follow focus system on it. Then I can't obviously because this is the 508 system, but now I can just quickly remove this base plate. Here we go and now I can just drop this system in quick quickly used quickly uh, swept over so now uh, I can just use the follow focus system on my board using this system and as I say these plates you can get some Aliexpress for for peanuts so it's not a, a huge investment but can make your workflow a bit better so that's why I'm using uh, these base plates and not the Falcom F50 but obviously if you don't have a gimbal or you just don't want to uh, change between Arca Swiss and F50 then just put on the F50 base plate but also this one on the front has a quarter 20 inch and as you can see I have one uh, F20 plate so for example I'm using this for my full of focus work and I can just quickly drop a screen on here we go and now I have my screen here easy to use uh, very easy to swap around use in seconds you can get ready to shoot so that's why I like this uh, plate uh, the joint rebuild as quick plate because it's not just quickly swapping between the Manfrotto 508 or Falcom F50 and the Arca Swiss but also I have one more mounting point for accessories like a screen so that's it for the Falcom F50 system and as you can see I'm really happy with it because it's such a versatile and multi-use system. I think Falcom doesn't even realize that how good it is. They just think that it's for videographers but as I said it's anyone for if you're out on a hike then you know how much it matters how the weight is balanced in your backpack so having a, a bow head of, which is usually like three four hundred grams just a bit lower it worth that extra i don't know about 100 grams tops that this system will give you so leave me a comment below would you try it with your tripod would you use it uh, as i do what do you think about this system and next time i will tell you more about the updated f50 compatible cage and this ha, this cage is just amazing you might have already seen it in our, our previous video and yeah there are lots of uh, similar cages out now uh, you can see that uh, ulanzi smorig whoever 
is doing one but i think fuck i'm again just hit the right spot and and i'm really happy with this one and i will explain it to you in a, another video we have one more video coming up and that's uh, about falcom's new strap system which is just amazing i'll be honest to you guys when i first saw it i was very skeptical about it falcom sent over a few samples and they told me that try to break it if you can and i couldn't so as you can see that we swept over all of our, our, our cameras now using the Falcom system and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video because I will do my best to break them. I will show no mercy to the Falcom system. So that's it for today. Give us a like if you like the Falcom F50 system and you will use it and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss uh, our other videos coming up about the new Falcom products uh, because Honestly, I just love this brand.